Hey people, how's it going today? We're going to talk a little bit about paintball accessories and things I think you should bring to the field. Some of these are must-haves, some of these are, you know, just kind of nice things to have. So first let's talk about um, kind of like a tech mat. You see this HK Army rebuild mat in most of my videos. Um, I would not purchase this again. I actually got this as a gift. Um, this tech mat is insanely thick and heavy. Um, you can't roll it up very well. I don't, I don't know what HK was necessarily thinking when they made this specific mat. I mean, yes, it does have nice pockets, deep pockets for like screws and things like that. Uh, you have an O-ring sizing chart and kind of lots of grooves in here to make sure your screws, whatever, aren't rolling away. But my mat has like some serious, like there's some cutouts in the rubber, just like machining imperfections. Um, on the back here, I've got like a huge rubber bubble up there. Um, it's just not very good quality. Um, it makes me really kind of question buying HK products because the quality control is, I don't know, not, maybe not up to par so much. Um, but tech mat is nice. So instead of this, there are thinner options that are lightweight. You can kind of roll them up, throw them in your gear bag. Planet Eclipse makes a really nice tech mat. There are some that aren't rubberized. They're just like a, um, kind of more of a soft material. They're flat. Um, kind of like almost like a mouse pad, but basically just a big version that you can set your gear down on, uh, take apart your, take apart your bolt, um, you know, unscrew things, change batteries, whatever you got to do. Um, so th these are kind of nice thing to have on the field. Definitely not a must have, but if you tend to tech your gear at the field, they're nice. Um, next thing, I think everyone should carry some type of barrel swab. I get asked all the time by players to borrow a swab and I, I don't understand why they don't carry their own. Um, these are, they're only a few bucks basically just to clean out your breach when you break paint. Um, and it seems like whenever you don't have one with you is when you start breaking paint and um, need to clean your barrel. So a few different kinds here. This is like, this is the Empire Battle Swab. Um, and then this is just, I think this is like a standard ANS gear um, one. It's not branded at all. But anyways, ones like this that can bend um, are really nice. A lot of paintball pants have a pocket to put a um, bent swab in. So like on the back of your pants. I prefer a fluffier material. Um, definitely what I consider the best swab would be the Exalt swabs. Um, and now they have the Exalt Supreme, which has two ends with really super soft microfiber. Um, these Empire ones are nice, they're relatively cheap. They're like, I think this this set for kind of the straight one that doesn't bend, um, and then the bendy one is $8, and like one exalt swab is over 10 bucks. They're very expensive. Something like this I think is like, they're like a dollar a piece or something. You buy, buy them in like a three or five pack, I can't remember. Maybe $2 a piece, they're super cheap. Um, Swabs, nice to have. Um, I think everyone should bring them on the field. Um, yeah, that's about it. Next up, you have to, when you play paintball, use a barrel cover. Um, no way around it. Uh, just a safety issue. So this is just kind of like a cloth um, barrel cover you would get with an Empire gun. Um, it's, I think I got this on an Empire sniper. Yeah. Uh, and then this is a more rubberized, durable um, HK barrel cover. But Exalt makes a barrel cover like this. Um, I think maybe Bunker Kings makes some of these uh, rubberized ones. I see a lot of these blow out after, you know, a few shots going through them. This, this Empire one's pretty good. It's nice and reinforced. But some of them just like, if you... Um, shoot your gun with the barrel cover on. Some of them just blow out right away. I see people, you know, tearing these up all the time. And something like this, just they're much sturdier. Um, they last a super long time. These are only like, I think Exalt sells them for like $12. Yeah, I mean, another nice to have item. I like these rubberized barrel covers. Next, 
Um, I think every player should bring microfiber on the field. Uh, for mask wipes, for if your gun just gets super shot up with paint. Um, you know, I guess this is more kind of scenario style. If you're playing on like the speedball field, you don't have to carry it with you. You just kind of go back to your gear bag and wipe wipe off. But um, yeah, microfibers. I get asked once again all the time, do you have a microfiber? I need to wipe my lens. Like This should just be something that people carry with them. Um, my paintball pants have a microfiber attached to the pocket. I have a set of Empire pants that have that. I don't know if a lot of other pants do that. Um, it's definitely a nice feature so, feature, so I don't carry one. I just have it attached there. Then I also like to have like these nice big uh, microfibers. This one's um, kind of dirty, but they sell these basically in like any auto section um, for things like polishing your car or whatever. Uh, they're relatively cheap like Walmart will get you like a couple of them for Under 10 bucks or maybe even five bucks. I don't remember uh, But yeah, these nice big ones are are good if you get like totally shot up and your guns just like Covered in paint some a nice big microfiber is good to have And then let's see tech box uh, Everyone should have the proper o-rings and parts to fix their gun. Um, you know, I know some people say, well, I have a backup gun. Um, if this one has problems, I just throw it away. I grab the new one, yada, yada, whatever. Um, and I know I have one gun that works, but I don't know. I, I think it's just, it's just important to first know how to work on your stuff. If you have a manual, you should be bringing that to the field. Know how to work on your stuff, bring the proper parts to work on your stuff. Like I know I have guns specifically that have certain issues. Um, if they're not lubed correctly, they'll have just a tiny little leak and that'll annoy me all day. I know how to fix it, but I have to have the proper stuff to fix it. Um, O-Ring Monkey sells these boxed kits, which are kind of nice. This one's for like, this one's for a Bob Long Victory, but it's got all kinds of stuff in here. Um, if you get one specific to your gun, it has uh, O-ring sizer on the front, um, but then you know your stock kit like Planet Eclipse includes a ton of O-rings in, with your gun. It should just you know keep it in your marker marker box and there's no issues. You always have it with you. So what do I like to have? Um, lube specific to your gun. We've got like some Mac Dev lube, some Empire lube in here, and then TriFlow, which um, Bob Long G6Rs. Like the TriFlow and you know those Bob Long bolt heads, uh, some Q-tips. These are mainly for like after the field cleaning, you know, little nooks and crannies out. I've got shims for a Ninja tank. If I have any issues with my tank, I can pull it apart and throw some more shims in there to up the pressure. Um, O-ring picks uh, are a big plus. Some bolts have really difficult O-rings to get out, um, so an O-ring pick is nice, or a couple. They make them. You know, there's like straight picks, hook picks, kind of these rounded ones, uh, lots of different styles, but just kind of another nice thing to have. And obviously I've got O-rings in here. I don't have batteries in here. You should bring batteries for your hopper, for your gun. Multiple sets, just keep them in your gearbox once again. Once again, um, you should have those because uh, sometimes the battery indicator on guns isn't the best. Like it'll say you still have half of a battery left, uh, but you'll be pretty much out. Uh, so tech kit, another good thing, good thing to have. Here is a paintball caddy. Um, I don't know if we can see that whole thing on the camera, but we'll be able to see part of it. Just hold your paintballs. It's got a pour spout here that essentially fits directly over a pod. These are like 15 or $20 and they make your, your life filling pods considerably easier instead of having to just tear the side of the bag and kind of dump it in. You just dump all your paint in one of these carriers and uh, pour it in that way. All right, so you have the side spout and then a larger lid on the top where you can just uh, dump your paint straight in. Get a nice handle. Yeah, nothing super special, but these are just Really nice to have. I'm a big fan. And that's all I've got for now. So 
bring swabs, bring microfibers, bring proper O-rings for your gun, proper lube. Uh, make sure you have a good barrel cover. Uh, I prefer those rubberized ones that are a little, you know, thicker, a little more durable. Um, Payball Caddy is kind of nice to have that um, to dump in your pods. Make sure you bring lots of pods. Uh, if your pods get stolen, whatever, you throw them off to the side. You can lose pods pretty easily. Uh, maybe a tech mat's good for you. Look at maybe like a Planet Eclipse tech mat. It's something that's not quite so heavy that you can, like, I can't really roll this up. It's, it's so thick and just, I don't like it. Um, but tech mats are kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, comment below any accessories you bring to the field. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, um, yeah. Hit me up, I will reply to your questions, obviously. And subscribe to the channel, look out for new videos, we'll see you later.